Alright guys, your buddy Kintips here. So we are going to be upgrading my ROG Strix. As you can see right here, here's the uh, ROG Strix. It's got the uh, 3060, it's got the um, R7 uh, 5900 or 5800. So I'm going to be putting in a uh, Samsung 4 terabyte SSD as you can see. Um, this, act this computer, uh, you guys have asked me if you can put hard drives in there. Yes, you can. You, there is four SATA ports here to put four hard drives. The issue, and I'll show you guys at the back, is where to mount it. That's the issue, actually. So, um, but I also have a 16 gigs of, sorry, six, two 16, so it's 32 gigs of XPG RAM that I'm going to put into this machine right now as well. So, as you can see, it only has one stick, so I'm going to be putting these to it. So I'll have three sticks. I might sell the last the last one, haven't decided yet, or I'll just keep it in there. Um, doesn't do anything anyways, so alright, let's uh, let's do this. Let's put the RAM in first. Alright, so I'm actually gonna use these rip jaws, these G skill rip jaws. If you guys want to see which ones I got, it's right there. Alright. Uh, these are 3600 uh, speed, so Alright, so pretty easy. Uh, I'll put it in the first slot. And I'll be right back, guys. All you do is just push it down and it'll lock by itself. Alright, as you can see, the RAM is in. Uh, it's seated good. So, now, to install the hard drive, we're gonna need a SATA cable so it doesn't come with it. So, so here is my SATA cable, as you can see. Uh, this is the only color I have, so I'm gonna put it in. So, yeah. It goes there and then there's a hole down there that you want to put it in so I'll be right back All right, so as you can see the SATA cable is connected and I thread it through now here is the bundle of wires that is in the back now as you can see There's your SATA power right here. So I'm gonna hook it onto this one right here uh, But the problem is there's room, but there's no screws. There's no mounting brackets. No nothing so I'm gonna have this hard drive dangling between wires. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do, so. All right. Some people have tried to like put it on the back of this you, because there is holes here. The only problem is it's going to get really hot. The motherboard gets really hot with the video card on that side. So I don't know if that would be actually a good idea. But let me open this up. All right, so here's the Samsung SSD I opened up. It is nice. It is very slim. And nice. This is four terabytes. Check this out. All right, so as you can see, you could probably mount it here. Like right behind, there is room on this back board here. There's the connectors right there. Ah, just try to find a place to mount this thing. As you can see, there's tiny screws right there. Uh, let me see if it came with screws. It did not come with any screws. So we're screwed there. Um, I think I'll just put it in here. Like, it'll be held together, but this is pretty durable anyways. It's NAND, so I'll be right back. All right, so it's hooked up as you can see. There's the power, just like that. I will put it between here somewhere. I do have another uh, couple of um, SSDs that I could put in. I wonder if it'll just be okay just like that because your computer's not really moving around, so technically, and it's made of metal, so it's not like it's gonna do much, but. It just doesn't look good. So, all right. Well, if you guys have any other ideas, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's how you upgrade it. I'm gonna be back. I'll turn it on and do a quick taste, uh, do a quick check. I'll be back, guys. Also gonna install this crucial SSD. This is only one terabyte. I had this lying around. Uh, this is gonna be my new primary computer, so I'm gonna put it in there as well. So, all right. I'll be back, guys. Okay, so it is. Right. It's working. As you can see, I am in Disk Manager right now, so there we go. I'm, as you can see, there's my 4 terabyte right there, and then there is that 1 terabyte. So 
I'm just gonna set it up with the disk manager and I'll be back. All right, so there's the hard drives all set up. This is the one terabyte and this is the uh, four terabyte. There we go, looks good. All right guys, see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, help the channel out, and we'll see you on the next one.